Hi, I'm Chintia, and thanks again for joining me for another session of Movement and Speak English. So as I promised last week, I'm going to read you the story. And then after reading the story, I'm going to do a little bit of movement improvisation. And that movement improvisation will come from the story itself. I will be inspired by the story and then I'll let myself move a little bit. And I encourage you to do the same thing. It's going to be different from me. Um, all you have to do is just move in any way that feels good for you and and that you you enjoy yourself. That's the most important thing. Okay, here we go. So the story is So Sleepy Story by Uri Shulovitz. In a sleepy, sleepy house, everything is sleepy, sleepy. Sleepy chairs by sleepy table, sleepy pictures on sleepy walls. Sleepy cuckoo clock by sleepy dishes on sleepy shelves and a sleepy cat on a sleepy chair. And a sleepy sleepy boy in a sleepy sleepy bed. Then softly, softly, music drifts in. Then louder and louder. Sleepy chairs begin to shake. Then, rock. Sleepy dishes begin to sway. Then dance. Until a dish rolls off the shelf and clatters onto the floor, waking sleepy cat. Cuckoo clock, bird begins to call. And sleepy boy opens his sleepy eyes. Now, softly, softly, music drifts away. Cuckoo clock 
bird falls silent. Cat shuts its eyes and all is quiet again. And sleepy boy falls back to sleep. In a sleepy, sleepy house. Where sleepy pictures on sleepy walls. And sleepy dishes on sleepy shelves. Ah, sleepy, sleepy. Okay, so now we're going to improvise a little movement. Ready? We'll begin standing. See you next time!